The name cycad comes from the Greek word psychos, meaning palm-like. But although they look similar in appearance to palm trees, cycads are actually gymnosperms, producing cones rather than flowers. They are actually more closely related to pines and even the ginkgo tree. They also can be confused with ferns because their pinnate leaves can look fern-like. However, ferns produce spores rather than cones. Cycads have been around for 280 million years before the dinosaurs even walked the earth. They declined in the Cretaceous period as flowering angiosperms evolved. Today, most cycads are endangered and some are facing extinction in the wild. Cycads are dioecious. Male plants can be identified by pollen-bearing cones, while female cones produce seeds. Some cones can grow up to 70 centimetres long, weighing 30 kilograms. They have specialised pollinators, often a specific beetle. And mature seeds tend to be colourful, bright red, purple or yellow, to attract animals to disperse the seeds. The order Psychodales has three families, Psychodaceae, Zamiaceae and Stangeriaceae, with ten genera, Moenia, Stangeria, Zamia, Lepidozamia and Cephalatos, Diune, Macrozamia, Microcycas, Ceratozamia and Cycas. There are around 115 different species of cycas, making it one of the most diversified genera of cycad. It's largely native to the Indo-Pacific, East Africa and Madagascar. However, due to the large numbers of cycas occurring in China, Australia and India, these countries are considered to be centres of cycad diversity. Fossil evidence suggests they originated in Asia, and cycas is thought to have split from all other living cycads around the Jurassic era, although this has not yet been dated with confidence. They are very slow to reproduce, with pollination occurring in the first year, fertilisation in the second, and seed shedding in the third. Cycas is unique in not forming seed cones on female plants, but rather a group of leaf-like structures with seeds on the lower margins. Leaflets have much more prominent midrib and lack any obvious secondary veins and new emerging leaves are not coiled. However, the leaflets are individually coiled with tender new leaves becoming stiffer after a few weeks. There are 11 different species of diune, which is native to Mexico and Central America. They typically live in tropical forests or dry hillsides and are one of the hardiest group of cycads, with those naturally growing at higher altitudes, tolerating frost and snow. Due to the leaf-like character of the sporophylls, it's been suggested that Diune is among the most primitive of the cycad genera. They are commonly divided into two groups, with Diune spinulosum, Diune magi, and Diune reduskii, characterised by large fronds, well-developed trunks and massive cones. The second group, containing all other diune species, are less robust, with shorter fronds and trunks and smaller cones. Diunes typically only grow three to six metres tall and are slower growing than other cycads, with a few exceptions. There are around 60 different species of Encephalatus, all native to Africa. The word encephalatos means bread of the head, referring to the bread-like food that is made from the pulp of the cordex. They are also known as bread palms. However, like most cycads, encephalatos are considered endangered, and with added pressures of its popularity as a collectible plant, has led them to be very expensive to buy. There is high variety amongst encephalatus species. Some are large, some small, some blue-leaved and some green. Some have thorny wide leaves and others narrow needle-like leaflets. Some are cold hardy and others tender. Some prefer full sun and others shade. However, most encephalatus do prefer arid hot climates. Although most species are not hardy in the UK, encephalatus will tolerate living in pots for many decades with few ill effects. 
There are around 60 species of Zamia, native to North, South and Central America, as well as the West Indies. Zamia show a wide diversity in appearance, from small simple leaves to large placated leaflets with a texture like Pringles. Many are small plants, however some tower overhead. Some species have colourful emerging leaves in brown, bronze, pink and even red, although these will typically turn green in a couple of months. Leaflet edges are often serrated and some have sharp spines. Zamia are great air purifiers and are known to remove pollutants and some harmful gases. They are low maintenance and require little watering or light, making them great houseplants. Macrozamia is a genus of around 40 species of cycads, which are all endemic to Australia. Macrozamia are pollinated only by thrips or weevils and attracts these pollinators by producing a specific compound which cannot be found anywhere else in the natural world. Macrozamia are also unusual in being able to produce their own heat, known as thermogenesis, which is also likely to be for the purpose of attracting pollinators. Cones have been recorded to be up to 15 degrees C above the ambient temperature. Lepidozamia is a genus of two species of cycad, both endemic to Australia. Lepidozamia perovskiana and Lepidozamia hopii. They're native to the rainforest climates, so require more watering in summer than many other cycad varieties, and they prefer to grow in shade. The female cones of Lepidozamia perovskiana are amongst the largest of all cycads, reaching up to 90 centimetres in length, whereas Lepidozamia hopii is the tallest living cycad, growing up to 17 metres in height. Although they prefer a warmer climate, they can take an occasional light frost. The genus Microcycas consists of a single species, Microcycas calocoma, which is endemic to a small area in Cuba. It's estimated that there are only 50 to 250 mature plants left in the wild. The disappearance of the specific beetle which pollinates it has contributed to the decline of this plant. The name Microcycas is deceptive as it can grow up to 11 metres tall, making it one of the tallest cycads. The leaves are dark green and can grow up to 1.2 metres long. And there are two species of Boanaya, Boanaya serulata and Boanaya spectabilis. Both are endemic to Australia, growing in moist or wet environments. Boanaya are much faster growing than other cycads, becoming fertile plants after just five years from germination. They grow well in containers and tolerate low light levels, although newer leaves may need a little more light when they get stronger. Boanaya can even produce cones when in containers. There is only one species of Stangeria, the Stangeria areopus, and it is endemic to southern Africa. They are pinnately veined, which distinguishes them from all other cycads. It's tolerant of a range of habitats and can grow in full sun or shade, in clay soil or very stony ground, but it's not very salt tolerant. They are also not frost tolerant, with leaves burning easily in cold weather, although underground stems may survive. Ceratozamia is a genus of up to 38 species of cycad, native to Mexico and Central America where most species are found at higher altitudes, such as Mexican cloud forests. They are characterised by cones with scales that have pairs of spine-like horns, which give them their name from the Greek seras, meaning horn. They require high humidity to ensure proper development of immature embryos. If you're enjoying the content of Freya's Tropical Garden, then please help this channel grow by subscribing. Every new subscriber is appreciated. And by turning on notifications to my videos, you can also make sure that you don't miss any episodes in future. You can also follow me on social media, where I'll release links to my latest videos, as well as share my flower of the day. You can follow me on X, Instagram, Threads, Facebook, or join my Facebook group to engage in discussions and share your own photos. Freya's Tropical Garden webpage also has links to my videos and helpful advice. And now, in order to support the continued growth of this channel, there is an option of becoming a member, which will give you access to a private Facebook group where I'll be running monthly competitions exclusively for members, as well as additional exclusive content.
And as always, I welcome your feedback in the comments below.